you guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and if you're returning welcome back so you guys in today's video we are going to be doing a wash and go with a lot of body foam wrap when the last time you see anybody use this as a wash and go well for a wash and go when i looked it up on youtube you guys um the latest up uh, the latest video was about four to five years ago so in 2023 we are going to be trying out the lot of body now my hair has been washed and detangled if you guys haven't seen my detangling process go back to that video it is posted that video is going to be featuring the african pride dream kids you guys know i rant and rave about this all the time because this is a must have a must this is going to detangle your hair with no water added. Um, you, you feel the moisture. You see the shine once it's done. I'm not going to stop talking about it. And I'm not going to stop purchasing it. Five, under $5. Yeah. Under $5 to get this and to get a bang up job done to your hair with detangling. It's a detangler, a leave-in, and a moisturizer. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. So I think I'm just gonna start on this side so you guys can see, you know, how good it works. We're just gonna take this braid loose that I um, sectioned my hair off while I was detangling in the shower. And my hair is still slightly damp. It's not soaking wet, but it's not dry either. So we should get great results from it. And we're gonna take a section, maybe about this big. I'm not sure y'all, not yet anyways, how is going to behave. Yeah, let's take this section here. We're gonna take this section right here and see how this performs. Now, I usually work from the back to the front, but because you guys are here and the position of everything, I want you guys to be able to see our first reaction of how this clumps up the curls, if at all. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. We're going to see how everything works together. So, like I said, I do want to use this as a little base just to make sure that my hair is getting the um, proper moisture underneath. Just rub it on my fingers. Make sure it's underneath. barely see anything okay um, i'm gonna say probably two pumps we're gonna see we'll gauge it as we go but two pumps of lot of body i'm gonna work it in definitely more than two but it is clumping this is about four pumps now. Four pumps might be your way to go with that size of a section. And then I'm going to go in and take my dimming brush and just comb it out. So yeah, it does give a little rough texture to it. But we are getting clumping. And you guys know I like to do my shingling method. Hmm. It's clumping, y'all. Let me break this up. This is definitely going to end up being a light hold. I think I am going to not shingle because I don't want to break it up like that. But maybe go in one more time with a little bit more product. Okay. 
Let's do about two more pumps. I'm not 100% sold on that. And maybe not brush it through, but we're going to just let it naturally clump up by raking. Let's see how that works. And we're going to let it go. We do have some weight. I don't know, you guys. Let's move on to the next section. And we're going to see how that responds. But it is keeping the frizz a little bit less than shingling. We're not going to manipulate it too much because I don't want it to revert or to, you know, start frizzing out too much. Maybe on the next section, I'll use a little bit more of the leave-in as well just to get a little bit more weight on it. A little bit more leave-in. Definitely on my ends. Okay, I'm going to use four pumps for now. It's definitely not going to give a lot of hold. Y'all see, I like that little curl right there. That's got some definition to it. But this here, it's going to be a lot of this going on. And I'm not sure if I want to commit to this being... You know, trying to do this all over my head because just by that, looking how it's looking, that's already telling me that we're going to have a lot of frizz. Lots and lots of frizz because it's not really clumping together. It's not. I'm actually getting a lot of moisture in my hands now. We're not getting the clumping that I'm looking for. So I don't think I'm going to commit to doing this all over my head. <laughs> it was worth a go, but already, because then that's going to be, that's going to lead to me having to go and rewash my hair instantaneously. And I'm, I'm not going to be happy about that. I don't like having to wash my hair so often. Yeah, nah. And that's what me putting more leave-in cream on there, moisturizing cream on there. That ain't going to give no type of holes. So we're going to cancel this. We are going to cancel this process. And we are going to go to Old Faithful and use a gel because...
I don't want to waste my time. So, I'm over. 